Hi, it's Chris from Milpet Photography. I want to bring you another episode from Tales of Windsor and Ascot. This week, we're going to focus on the charity itself, Berkshire Search and Rescue Dogs. Someone is, is reported missing every 90 seconds in the United Kingdom. Search and Rescue Dogs are voluntary organisations which provide nationally qualified search dog teams. These teams assist the police to search for, locate and reunite vulnerable missing people with their loved ones. Berkshire Search and Rescue Dogs, BSAID, is a fully qualified lowland rescue team of volunteers on call 24 hours a day, 365 days a year in all weather conditions to support the emergency services primarily within Berkshire and its surrounding area. They search for high risk, vulnerable missing persons, including children, people living with dementia, and those with mental health complexities. Now I was a MISPA on one occasion, and a MISPA is a missing person. I was there to be part of training, and I photographed some of the opportunities that you'll see right now. Whilst many people were still enjoying a lion on a Saturday morning, I was up and over the forest with the team. The leadership team had devised a number of exercises and the MISPAs took their instructions. As I wanted to photograph some of the activities, I couldn't be a lone MISPA, so I accompanied others who were planning to spend the whole Saturday lying and hiding in different parts of Buttersteep Forest in Ascot. This forest is well known to me, but the team had made sure that the MISPAs were well hidden and off any main routes through the forest. It was interesting to observe how the MISPAs hide and try to cover themselves and mimic as much as possible the real thing for the dogs. Although the teams have radios, complete silence is required by the MISPA to ensure a challenge for the dogs. As they approach, you can hear the bell on the dog's collar and so you know the search is almost complete. It's amazing to see how they scan and track an area, ensuring the whole area is covered. As they get close to the MISPA, you can see their excitement in their find. Once they have located the MISPA, they run back to their handler, tail wagging, and with their alert, and in the case that Chris saw, it was a Bringstall tag, that they can then lead that, their handler back to the MISPA. Once the handler has reached the MISPA, the search is over and the rescue can begin. The dog is rewarded, and for them, that game is complete. I saw Otto and Ro complete their first find of the day, and he was rewarded by playing with his tennis ball. I was also found by Willow and Andy, who was rewarded as well with treats. It was a fantastic experience, and the people that work with the Berkshire Search and Rescue Dogs are amazing. Many volunteers as well, just to help in these activities as part of their training, so that they can be totally effective when they're having to be called out live. Berkshire Search and Rescue Dogs, a fantastic charity that we're proud that every penny that comes through the book sales and in the registration for the book itself all goes to them. Thanks for listening. It's Chris from Mill Pet Photography and I'll be back with another chapter soon. Thanks. Bye now.